Hello everybody, so welcome back. So today I'm here to talk about the top five industries to work after obtaining an MBA degree in China. So you might be wondering, why do you actually need an MBA? Will it make a difference in your career after your graduation from an MBA degree? I'm an MBA graduate myself, so I would like to give more insights for future students looking for to study an MBA degree in China. So the Master of Business Administration MBA has become such a prestigious degree for business professionals. And it's for a good reason. So the financial rewards for earning an MBA degree is strong, especially if you study an MBA in China. So MBA graduates from the top Chinese business schools typically obtain salaries 50% higher than what they were earning in before they obtained an MBA degree. So whether it's in fintech or green energy, China has enormous opportunities for MBA graduates. So are you wondering, where can an MBA in China take me? So China's business sector provides MBA graduates with the best career opportunities in the world. As China is moving forward in a service-based economy, the country is opening doors for countless new opportunities for business professionals from different backgrounds. So now, let me introduce five best industries for MBA graduates in China. We are currently going through one of the biggest transformations in financial history the fintech revolution. So the first industry where you can work at after an MBA degree is fintech industry. So we can all agree that China's technology is booming. China is home to many multinational technology companies like Baidu and Tencent. The country has experienced an amazing digital transformation, including finance. So the online payment in China is developed so well that no one uses cash anymore in China. So you go to a shop in China, you have to use Alipay or WeChat. You go to restaurants, even public places, public parks accept such payments. So I remember when I came to China in 2012, it was not as developed, but now everything is very digital. And mobile and online payment giants such as WeChat and Alipay in China account for almost 12.8 trillion in transactions in China. Can you imagine? It's a huge amount. So fintech, of course, is relatively new, but MBA graduates from top Chinese universities like Chung Kong Graduate School of Business are working in this new industry. Another industry you can work at is e-commerce industry. So do you prefer to shop online? If yes, then you are part of the 73.6% of the 800 million internet users in China who shop online. So if you have never been to China, you might not yet know about Alibaba or their e-commerce platform Taobao. Maybe you heard about it. But after you come to China, I can assure you that Taobao will be part of your daily life. You can order anything on Taobao and receive it at your door within one to five days. So Alibaba, as the biggest e-commerce companies in the world already, have hired countless MBA graduates in China. So the third top industry where you can work at is green energy. So China is currently, of course, the world's largest carbon emitter. But make no mistake, the country is also advancing in renewable energy. So the Chinese governments have invested in solar power, wind power, electric vehicles, and is poised to lead the world in green energy. So China is the largest producer and exporter of solar panels and wind turbines globally. So with 60% of renewable energy related jobs located in Asia, it is an exciting industry for MBA graduates. So another top industry to work at, what is it? Healthcare. It is a healthcare industry. So Chinese healthcare is one of the rising industries in the country. And with the rise of aging population and the shortage of medical staff, the government is turning an innovation to address the problem. So the current situation of COVID-19 actually has showed the medical power of China. I think we can all agree on that. So the biotech companies in China are also utilizing artificial intelligence to create new pharmaceutical 
and diagnosis that is baked by big data like never before. So pharmaceutical companies are building centers in China and forming partnerships with Chinese companies. So this continued expansion means more opportunities for MBA graduates. So the last industry, fifth industry, where you can work at, is an education industry. So the Chinese government supports the education sector by releasing huge amounts of funding every year and provides scholarships for international students to study in China. So MBA graduates can actually capitalize it, the value of this education by building an online education startup, tutoring services, and other education platforms. So let me tell you a success story of an MBA graduate who actually successfully utilized all of this education gained during the MBA studies in China. So her name is Felicia Guo. She loved painting all her life. So it didn't come as a surprise when she started her own gallery in Jakarta, a capital of Indonesia. So without business experience, she found the daily management of the business very challenging. Then she decided to pursue a 14-month full-time MBA program at Chung Kong Graduate School of Business in China. And there she met her current two business partners. Today, her business, Fang Gallery, is making waves across the world. She's also co-founded IDART, a tech startup that makes art collection and investment more accessible online. So what I really wanted to say was that many MBA graduates in China have successfully leveraged their degree and have reaped limitless rewards for doing so. So, but more than a financial gain that MBA brings, it's important to realize how an MBA can widen your knowledge, connect with the right people, and impact your future positively. So now you might be wondering, you want to apply for MBA, but what are the best MBA programs that you can apply in China and get all this value we are talking about? So I will put a link where you can search for the best MBA programs in China below. And you can also watch my next video about top MBA programs in China.